Welcome back. To say dairy farming in the Twin Tiers is important, it's, a, it's an understatement. New York and Pennsylvania, the third and fourth ranked producers of dairy products in the country. And there are more than 50,000 dairy farms across the country. This industry is one of the biggest economic drivers. It's not a very attractive job. WYTV's Joe Melillo got a hands-on lesson. At Maple Knoll Dairy Farm, every day can be different. Farmers' routines can change by the moment, but it usually starts off the same, getting up early to feed the livestock. One cow eats about 100 pounds of feed and drinks 60 gallons of water every day. And today, it was my job to feed them. All right, bring it back out. The feed is made up of six different parts, hay, corn, soybean mix, citrus pulp, canola meal, and mineral mix. It's mixed by a nutritionist to help the cows produce the best milk. Maple Knoll Farm in Lawrenceville has been in the Barnes family since 1847, so they know how to conserve money. They grow all their own hay and corn to save. They keep most of the corn mix in silos. Today, we're topping off the inside. Now, what are we doing up here 60 feet in the air here? Well, we've been filling this with corn the past few days, so I come up to see how full it is, how level it is. We can put some more in. We're going to do that here in a moment. we got to have it nice and level across there to put the unloader down, mm -hmm. and then we can feed out of it till next year. From the outside, it looks calm, but inside, it looks like this. As you can see, I'm covered in corn, and that's because up here it's really dusty. The wind is blowing the air from the chute, it's just blowing the corn around, so I get covered. I think, I think this is a dirty job if I've ever seen one. Once the cows are fed, it's time to start milking, and it looks pretty easy. Then dip the cow, and then you um, clamp, um, squeeze it, and then you clean it with a towel, and then you put the milkers on. Glenn has been milking cows since he could walk. The business is part of the family. And all that experience paid off. I had a hard time when I tried. As far as I'm concerned, the Barneses can keep the business in the family. So our kids will own it after us, and it, it'll hopefully be a succession as long as we're able to keep continuing to operate financially. And part of that being able to operate financially is the future of the farm bill. And right now, legislators are deadlocked over funding for food and nutrition programs in the current farm bill. And uh, we're going to keep an eye on that, of course, as things shake out down in Washington. Thank you, Joe.